Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. Sorry I haven't been on for a couple of days. Um, I must be honest with you Virgo, my mental health is not great at the moment. Some sort of spiritual warfare, or and I, and I, I can feel myself about to cry, because it was very difficult for me to do this reading. But it's my income. If I don't do it, then you know what I mean. It's just I've got children to feed. I've got to look after myself. So here I am, pushing on, and it's gonna be a general love reading. If it resonates with you, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. If it doesn't resonate with you, then that's fine. There's plenty of readers. So the first question, and of course, shouts out to my subs. I appreciate you. So general love reading who is it that's thinking about you there's definitely some sort of uh bad energy here or there could have been some sort of disagreement not seeing eye to eye like i feel with this being your card virgo you're just kind of like stepping away from something here okay your guard is up that is what i'm getting with the seven of wands you're battling with something here okay for me it's my mental health um but for some of you guys you're battling with making a decision here and I, I feel what you're doing um is really trying to protect yourself right now but i also feel like borderline there could be some sort of isolation so just be mindful of that virgo <clears throat> who who wants virgo who wants virgo Tower card. Who wants Virgo? The Sun card, the Five of Swords. Strong indication. Something that's been said has irritated somebody here. You could have irritated somebody, not kind of intentionally, or someone could have irritated you. But I feel like words have been exchanged, and these words, words hurt, right? One more card. Who wants Virgo? It could be a Leo for some of you guys. The high priest, priestess, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it could be an Aries with the tower card there. But with regards to who is it that wants you, I feel like there's been some sort of either mixed communication or an exchange of words, okay? Um, the high priestess is like intuition, dreams. Maybe you had a dream about this person. Maybe they had a dream about you. The high priestess is like the unknown, okay? So the, the unknown could be affecting somebody here. I have no idea if I'm making any sense today, guys. I'm really, really trying to push on. Who truly loves Virgo? What I really need is a holiday, but I just can't afford it right now. Um, my son's sitting his GCSEs when we usually go away or his exams. For those of you that are in America, you may not know what GCSEs is. And yeah, I feel like I need some fun. I am so single. And this is not a pity party. This is me reflecting, like, what is trigger triggering my mental health and this anxiety. These I had a panic attack a couple of days ago, and I just feel like I'm not recovering since then. Um, I'm going off subject here. Who truly loves you? The Five of Cups indicates, you know, maybe the cards are picking up on just my energy being a Virgo, yeah? But there's sadness here, there's disappointment. And all of that jazz. Who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? Queen of Wands. I'm trying to keep positive. I'm busy. I'm trying to keep busy. Whether or not it's working or not. Um, but I just feel like I just don't have the... Like, I feel so drained. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, five of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. So there's endings here. There's sadness. There is um, bereavement type of energy here. Okay. Um, I, I don't know pretty much what to say with regards to the person that truly loves you. I feel like there is someone here that's physically attracted to you. Or you hope for them to be physically attracted to you. Um, th th there could have been some sort of ending here like I could be picking up on some on some sort of ex and they're in disappointment and they regret kind of maybe taking advantage of you or something like that I'm unsure um, let's move to clarifying some cards okay 
going back to the thinking why is the seven of wands here why is the seven of wands here ten of wands a load of heavy energy the chariot card cancer energy you have it twice on the table the knight of cups um so I'm getting a strong energy of not wanting not wanting this person next to you or or there's a lot of heavy energy around somebody in particular, okay? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Right, what has the five of swords here? The death card. Maybe someone got some news about a death, two of wands. Why is the five of swords here? Um, so there's stuff that needs to be let go of here I'm trying to figure out this is a love reading so it could be something to do with love okay I feel I, I don't know I just feel this sense of needing to let go needing to it could be letting go of tangible stuff. It could be letting go of things that you no longer wear or no longer need. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave this reading here because I just don't feel great, Virgo. And I'm really, really sorry. Hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow. Like, I really appreciate you guys. I really do. I really do. And, um, yeah, hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow. Take care.